You are Laura, so nice. <laughs> In the words of Selena Quintanilla Perez, the impossible is possible. Being in a family where my oldest brother Daniel was the crown jewel of academic success on my mother's side, having cousins who became doctors, and having a mom with a long formal education, I was definitely held at a high standard in academics from day one. From a very young age, my parents discovered quickly that I was quite different. I learned slower than most kids and can never sit still. From kindergarten to fourth grade, I was considered to have severe behavior issues and possibly ADHD. It seemed that I was facing the impossible. But in the end, I was just a ball of energy who wanted to talk to everyone. <laughs> As the years went by, I continued to get poor grades, but I eventually got my behavior under control. Like any little girl, I dreamed of many things like becoming a doctor or a pop star. <laughs> but the world seems to challenge us during the best times of our lives. And unfortunately, in 2012, my mother was deported back to her hometown in Guadalajara, Mexico, and I went along with her. This was the first of many challenges put in my path. Like many kids in America, my biological parents were immigrants from Mexico who came to live the so-called American dream. My parents, Pablo and Lourdes, had dreams like anyone else and only wanted what was best for me. They truly imagine the possibilities. Almost two years later, I returned back to Minnesota and the topic of mom returning to America sparked up. The reality of it all is that people don't realize how difficult it is to come back. In our culture and community, you hear about the terrifying stories of crossing the hot and deadly desert. And yet, as the long and hard weeks pass, in August of 2014, mom did just that. Her dream and passion behind it all is what we remember to this day and after eight years, my mother passed away with the dream of returning to watch me grow and follow my own dreams. Her dreams were simple things like any other parent would wish for their child. Good health, good grades, and to watch us graduate high school or college. From that day, August 6th of 2014, I made a vow to myself that I would always try my best and to help make her dreams come true. I was ready for anything thrown at me. When I was in eighth grade, I had realized that I had never really thought clearly into what I wanted for my future because I was so cut up with trying to be that somebody that I wasn't. But I got lucky and I was introduced into programs like AVID. But AVID wasn't just dropped into my lap. The want for my dreams was behind passion, tragedy, humbleness, and experience. Going into eighth grade, my global studies teacher saw my potential and that was the first time that I had ever sat down to talk about my dreams. Mr. Gallagher introduced me to AVID, and he told me about all the doors that could open because of the field that I wanted to go into and all of the possibilities for an extremely bright future. I thank him for seeing my potential during that year. For many, including me, he prepared us for AVID interviews. And during the interview, I talked to them also about my goals and dreams. The idea of being an AVID kept me up at times and it made me really think about what I really wanted to be. And just like that, a few weeks passed, and I found out that I had gotten into AVID. In my freshman year, a huge wave of challenges were waiting for me and snuck up on me when I least expected it. But thanks to my family and my teachers, I again was able to surpass them. My biggest challenge going into high school was finally getting used to being in a new home. Things with my biological dad got difficult, and once again, we also had to say our final goodbyes. Buddha once said, if we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. And that's exactly what happened to me. My whole life changed. But thanks to a wonderful family who took me in and helped me accomplish things that I never thought I could, this is why I'm here today, alive and well and happy. They helped me imagine the possibilities and helped them make them a reality. Someone who really helped me form the path to what I was capable of was someone who I am honored to call my mom now, Kiwi. She was the woman who pushed me to be the best version of myself every single day, whether it was doing my homework, helping me socialize with people, looking at colleges, or just being there for me. 
She is truly someone I don't think enough for what she's done and how she's helped. So thank you, Mom. Not only did my parents help form a path for my dreams, but many of my teachers left a huge impact on my academic career. In AVID, I had a few different teachers and they all left a mark and hold a very special place in my heart. But there is someone who I truly grew close to and helped me through almost every single challenge in high school. Whether it was fighting to get me out of my shell or writing a paper, Ms. Katherine Nelson, my freshman year AVID teacher, someone I can proudly say I look up to. She was not only my AVID teacher, but also my English 9 teacher. She was also the first person I opened up when I got to high school. I am very thankful for everything she's helped me through and happy that she's watched me grow into the person that I've become today. I can honestly say that everybody in our AVID program has left a positive mark on not only me, but all of my peers too. Some don't realize how big of an impact a program like AVID can have on a group of teenagers. I'd like to also take a moment to thank some of my many, many, many AVID friends who I became really close to this year and also helped me grow. Them being Joseph, Jordy, Chris, Irene, Saham, and Taz. Through my five years of AVID, I was given opportunity after opportunity from every year. I met so many people and received many achievements like Face of AVID during my freshman year and most willing to accept the challenge during my sophomore year of AVID. In my few years, I learned lessons in rigor, friendship, and responsibility. Because of AVID, I not only found my passion for many hobbies such as researching and my random handiness skill. I like to build furniture now. <laughs> Because AVID always encourages us to try new things, I got into things such as choral music, robotics, and esports. If it weren't for AVID encouraging me to do all these things, I would have never been named to the MMEA Minnesota All-State Choir, won a robotics competition with the highest Inspire Award with my team during our second qualifier, go Iron Maidens, <laughs> or helped our esports program manage our two-time now state champion undefeated team this past spring on fall. Hashtag AB on top. <laughs> because of AVID, I was led on the correct path by important educators in our program who put in the countless hours to show and teach us what we were truly capable of and watched us grow. AVID is my family. Despite all of my achievements that I am extremely humble and grateful for, the thing I am most proud of is being able to not only make my own dreams come true, but also make my mom's dreams come true. From the heavens above in June, she watched her dreams come true by watching me walk the stage ending my high school journey. And because AVID encourages us to explore and create our own adventures, I am proud to say that this fall I will be continuing my adventure at Hawaii Pacific University. <laughs> where I will be majoring in nursing and creating new dreams along the way. All of this happened because me and my mom both imagined the possibilities and I, wait for it, I overcame the impossible. Thank you.